you may want to be able to add closed captioning to the webinars that you give or, or even to calls. Well, what you're seeing right now is how I'm doing it. I'm doing it with OBS. This is a plugin for OBS and I'm going to show you how to get it, how to get it running and, and to configure it. And uh, it's free. I would say it's not that hard to install, but, but I know I'm a little on the technical side, but I'm going to do my best in this video to show you how to do it very, very simply. And uh, hopefully this is going to be helpful. I know that Zoom has uh, a closed captioning option, but at least at the time that I'm recording this video, this has to be done by a person who's actually typing the closed captioning, the uh, uh, conversion of sound into words. But what I'm showing you here is completely is done completely automatically. And hopefully what you can see is the quality of this is pretty good because it's using Google's closed captioning engine. So we're actually communicating with Google. Enjoy the ride. Okay, what I'm going to do is actually go to obsproject.com and uh, if I go to the resources, what you're going to find is that there are a lot of plugins that go into OBS. There are a lot of things that OBS can do beyond just the basic functionality. And you can see that there are 89 studio plugins, there are 34 classic plugins, but I already went to uh, the one that I'm looking for and that's closed captioning via Google speech recognition. 0.08 so it is using Google for speech recognition and and I guess that Google has a strong enough artificial intelligence or AI engine to have very high quality. This is the link to download it and I'm not going to go through the download process and, and installation process. Uh, first it's, it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward uh, but mainly and, and I already installed it in my computer but mainly because this can change and so what I would guide you to is whatever you have, whatever version that you have, if you have Windows, they have installation instructions for Windows and they have installation instructions for OS, uh, for Mac OS and even for Linux. So I'm using Windows, but I'm just going to guide you towards uh, installing it. At that point, uh, we're going to say that I have installed it. I'm going to close that window and I'm going to start OBS. I, I have a pretty empty OBS screen here uh, and that is because as I was preparing to record that video I accidentally deleted everything that I've set up in OBS for myself and for my own webinar. So right after I shoot this video I'm going to set everything up. But that's okay for now we're just gonna uh, start from scratch. Uh, there is at least one screen that has to be defined and in that screen I'm calling it left screen and um, what I will do is add several elements to it. Uh, the first one is I'm going to add a display capture. So the display capture I'm going to call it laptop screen because this is where I'm putting everything. So it's going to be laptop screen. Uh, let's choose which one this is. I do believe that this is the display that I have. Actually no, uh, this might be the display. Yes, it is. And as you can see, the window in window in window means that I am capturing this display. I'm going to say OK. And now I have this. Uh, once I have installed uh, OBS, uh, the, the uh, cloud captioning for OBS, uh, which again is essentially for me all it was is just put one file in the right place and the instructions are going to show you how to do that. Now when I go to tool I can see that I have cloud closed captions. So I'm going to open cloud closed captions and when I do that these are the captions and you can see that they're enabled right now. I'm going to hit on settings and uh, that's going to open another window somewhere on my computer and it appeared on a different screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to this screen so you can all see it. I'm going to minimize it as small as possible and I'm going to put it here. So now you have all the windows related to OBS and the screen uh, captioning function. So 
we're all here what you don't see is that it's capturing anything and the reason it's not capturing anything is well because i did not define a microphone so let's add a microphone audio input capture and we're going to call it yeti because i'm going to uh, grab my yeti microphone let's see what device we have here uh, the device we have this is where yeti is connected for me so i'm going to say okay and from this moment on you can see that there is a yeti that's grabbing uh that's grabbing my voice my sound uh, i'm going to look at what i have defined here i'm going to define three or two i'm sorry i'm going to define two let's save and uh theoretically what should happen now is that i am going to start seeing the captions uh working out let's open the settings and see uh, we have captions enabled uh caption source uh caption source is going to be yeti we're going to save and at this point it is capturing you can see that uh, everything is just working and everything is being grabbed in that captions uh, window what i need is actually to get this window into the scene so we're already getting everything and what i do is i am actually going to define to crop this scene to only grab this so the way i do that is i actually enabled a filter not on the yeti we're going to go to the uh, laptop screen display 2 and i'm going to uh, filters and in filters i'm going to add a filter called crop or pad i'm going to say yes and as i'm looking at everything here maybe this is where i want to include that screen this screen will have to be here and i'm going to say how far from the left how far from the right how far from the top and how far from the bottom do i want to grab this so what i'll say is and this is i played a lot with the numbers what i found is if that if i want to have a two line uh two line closed captioning which is what i programmed here you can see that what i have here is two lines then and and it's on a 1980 a 1920 by 1080 screen or full high definition this is the uh, laptop screen that i have here the size of that window is going to be 420 pixels by 80 pixels and so uh what i'll do and you'll see by the way that the quality of that uh, closed captioning is is pretty good so what i'm going to do is also the, the other question is where exactly on the screen is this going to be and uh, what i found was that if this is going to be the setup of the screen obs on the left uh, closed captioning uh, on its right then the numbers are going to be 1100 from the left this is how i'm cropping it top is 600 right is 400 and bottom is 400 and look at what happened it just uh I, I can drag it around and you'll see that it's just grabbing that part of that uh of my screen of uh and and it is getting to be exactly the closed captioning part of it so i'm going to close it and you can see that now it's over there it's obviously smaller the default is to be on the left so I'm, i can move this around and now maybe it is just about time to add um one more thing and that is let's add a camera with that camera you're going to be able to see me so uh we will do video capture device and we're going to call it the d3500 i'm actually going to turn the d3500 on which would be really helpful and so we just defined it and uh what do you know uh, i think that uh yeah i'm i'm grabbing the d3500 so uh and you can see for the first time you can see the green screen behind me so let's just say okay uh we're going to change the order so now you can see that the closed captioning which is defined as laptop screen is right on top of me well uh, you know one more thing since since we're here uh, let's grab the d3500 and apply filters and the filter i'm going to apply is going to be the uh, chroma key and uh, we can just call it chroma key and with chroma key we're going to eliminate green i'm going to play with it a little 
to make sure that it works pretty good. And you can see that it does, it, it works pretty good. Of course, there's one thing that I'm not enjoying here, and that is that uh, this completely blocks me, even though it's the size that I want it to be. So I can go back to the laptop screen, and then under filters, I'm going to add one more filter. We already had the crop. I'm going to add color correction. And uh, it's not that I really want to change the color correction as in or the colors of this as in we have the opacity. So I can change it, let's say, to 80% opacity. And if I close now, you can see that you can actually see through this text and uh, see what I have. And uh, so if I will now change this to um, uh, share the entire, uh, uh, just share OBS or, or share whatever is coming out of OBS, this is what we're going to see. Anyway, this is how the closed, captionings, uh, closed captioning is working. I, I want to show you one more thing, and that is I'm going to hit settings. And by the way, you see, because we're grabbing this part of the screen, uh, settings does appear here. There are a lot of very cool things that you can set up. Again, the, way, the, the place where closed captioning is coming from is really from Google. So it actually goes to Google over the internet with my voice and uses Google's engine to, to translate it. Well, there are a lot of things you can do. One of them, for example, is decide how many lines. So if I go with three lines, and I will save. You can see that from now on, I have three lines. Of course, I'm not set up for three lines. So let me just tell you that if you want to grab two lines, two lines uh, are 420 pixels by 80 pixels. Uh, three lines are 420 by 100. One thing I want to go back to, and that is if I go back to the filters on this and go to the crop, the distance between left and right, I have a total of... Uh, 1100 plus 400 that's 1500 if i have a total of 1920 which is the resolution the horizontal resolution of the screen 1920 minus this 5 uh, 1500 is 420 pixels that's how i got to that number and i have 1080 on the top uh, from top to bottom on the screen but i took 600 from the top 400 from the bottom that's a thousand 1080 minus 1000, that's 80 pixels. That's how I reached the number of 80 pixels. Well, if I want to grab three lines, three lines are 420 by 100. So I need to take like 20 pixels off of the bottom in this case. And now, as you can see, I'm actually grabbing three lines. Uh, so I'll move it a little on the screen. Now I'm grabbing three lines. I'll go back to the settings so I can set this. I'll take it back to two lines because I really prefer two lines. And um, let's go back to settings. Uh, language. I wonder what other languages does it do. It has quite a few languages that you can choose from. I'm, I'm going to try it in Hebrew at some point um, and see how that works. Uh, I have a profanity filter. And I know that's, that's kind of weird, but uh, they, they have a profanity filter. Uh, and uh, they, they said on is unreliable, so that's kind of cool. But here is another interesting thing or a cool thing to use. And I know I'm getting a little too, too much. I took the word NSA here, which is the National Speakers Association, or in other words, um, uh, the uh, National Security Agency. And I turned the word NSA to national. And you will see what happens because whenever I'm going to say NSA, it writes national instead, which is kind of cool. You can even do that. Well, again, I'm going a little too deep into the functionality of this, and uh, I, I guess I'm not, I don't have a good poker face to show you how cool I think this is. But this is how I built closed captioning using Google into OBS and then to Zoom. I hope this was helpful. Be good, be safe, and may trust be with you.